hey guys this is time to do a quick video on how to or how i personally prepare for a snowfall snowstorm whatever it is so it's the day before the snow we're gonna have up to 10 centimeters of snow it's always wise to you know try to check on everything that you need to check on like if you have a snow blower check it the night before run it make sure it's running properly I also use the snow blower as well. Um, check out your vehicle, check out the plows, check out your salter, check out your engine, your oil, your coolant, your windshield, um, wash the fluid as well. Just go over the basic things, check out your air pressure as well. It's um, very important, especially when you have the weight on there. Check out all of these. I didn't check this out. But um, these are some of the most important things that you need to do when operating a plow. Uh, you're doing snow removal and um, if you have a crew that's going out and they're doing the the shoveling of the snow or the sidewalks or whatever by themselves they're supposed to have these things checked out and not wait till the last minute and then you know start checking out stuff seeing if things work but for me um, it's the day before the storm we're gonna have 12 hours of snow 7 to 7 most likely they're saying so what I usually do, I divide it into two. So the first six hours, after the first six hours, I head out. So when it's like the first five hours, I start driving out from the five, the first five hours to get to my destination, to get started. And um, yeah, just to avoid a, a whole bunch of buildup and whatever, accumulation of snow. And I am holding the snow blower as well. Those who do not know about using a snow blower in the in the winter season, you should try it. It works way much faster than shoveling and using even the snow blower. It depends on the wind and what direction it's blowing and all of that as well. So when you're using this, try to make sure you know what direction the wind is blowing so it does not blow right back in your face, just like when you're using the snow blower. So I already checked out everything that's why the hood is still open I was just making sure and also I make sure I fill up all everything with gas and there's another little trick as well if you're trying to fill up fill up your um, your snow blower um, your leaf blower whatever and it's snowing that means it's gonna get water into the tank the snow melts it gets in and that creates a little problem with the carburetor and whatever else is going on in the engine so i strongly suggest if you are doing this and you need to put fuel in there try to do it in a place where it's not snowing down on you and um, that's one of the reasons why i always put my gas in before my fuel in before I start operating and um, it makes my life a little bit easier so I don't have to wait then and then try to put it in and it's cold outside and the last thing you want to be doing is blowing, pouring gas in there and all of that so anyways check out your lights check everything make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to and um, you should be set anyways this is one of my favorite tips that I do I'm not just saying that but this is something that I do just to try to avoid a lot of headache it's also wise to check out your what do you call it the um, the plow pump as well check to see if you have enough fluid inside of there um, if your your pump is leaking of oil or whatever that could also be a little problem that could be solved if you know it's spilling out some oil fluid um, you could wait till the last minute to get it done and just likewise do not allow any water to get inside of there it's dark anyways this is all i have to say please like share subscribe and i'm out